left, it received the oxygenated blood through pulmonary vein. For the ventricle, they pump deoxygenated blood through the pulmonary artery, and then it will be uh, pumped through the aorta. Now, for this one, the SA node here in the in the right atrium, right atrium, it consists the sinoatrial node that controls your heartbeat. Uh, her heartbeat. That's why it is called the pacemaker. So where is the pacemaker, the normal pacemaker in your heart? It's in the right atrium. Now, what is the three blood vessels? They are arteries, veins, and capillaries. As I told you, arteries, they always, always carries the oxygenated blood, the red one, except one exception that we just saw, the pulmonary artery, because they carry deoxygenated. Also vein, they always, always carry the deoxygenated, except the one that we just saw, the pulmonary vein. They carry oxygenated blood, okay? And capillaries, it is, see this figure, uh, at any organ, artery, capillaries, vein. In capillary, the gas exchange will occur. So in the tissue, the capillary will give this organ the oxygen and takes it to vein, will carry the deoxygenated blood. Okay, so gas exchange happen where? In capillaries. For the thickness, arteries, the wall is made up of three layers. It's the thickest one. Uh, the wall for the vein, it has three layers and the, it is thinner than the arteries, while capillaries, it's the thinnest one, it is a single layer. Uh, arteries, they have high pressure. Why? Because the job for the arteries to pump the blood very far, like aorta, okay? While here, it will withstand low pressure. Arteries, they don't have valve, no need for the valve. They already have high pressure. While uh, veins, they contain valves. Um, that prevent the backflow of the heart. Any questions? I can see. The color of deoxygenated, it's absolutely your blood is red. But why you they usually draw it blue? Because it is full of CO2. That's why it's like bluish red. But absolutely, you can see by your veins, by the way, because it's near your neck, your hands. It's not blue, but, but bluish red, okay? No, 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 no. The, you don't have to know the bypass, the names of the valves, uh, Ammar. Yes, okay. Uh, back to the slides. Okay. Oops, where is it? Here. Next. Uh, now, for the, your blood, your blood consists of uh, plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and plate, platelets. The plasma, it's 50% of the blood. Mostly it's water, 90% water. Red blood cells, it contains the hemoglobin that carries oxygen. White blood cells to fight infection. It's the soldier uh, in your body that protects you from any disease. Platelets, it's for the coagulation of blood. It helps you to stop bleeding. Okay, ABO system. I'll go back to the whiteboard because I want to explain this brief, uh, not briefly. <laughs> Let me go back to the whiteboard, okay, which is, let me know if you can see my board now. Now, can you see my board? Can you see my board, everyone? Hello. Is it clear, everyone? Can you see my yes, board? Yes. Yes. yes, okay. Okay, every one of us has a unique blood type. Blood type re uh, refers to the presence of antigen, okay? Now, the presence of A antigen, antigen, this makes, for example, this is A, this makes the blood type A, blood type A. Now, the presence of B antigen, let's draw it like triangles. This make the blood type B, blood type B, okay? Antigens are on the surface of the red blood cells. Now, presence of both, presence of both antigen, like, this one, okay, both A and B. 
This person has a blood type AB. Blood type AB. Okay. When there is no antigen, this, okay, the red blood cells, they have nothing, nothing on the surface. This blood type is O. Sorry. Oh, okay. Now, one more thing that there are antibodies. I will use another color for the antibodies. Let's say red. The, the antibodies are in the plasma. So again, the antigen are on the surface of the red blood cells. The antibodies are in the plasma. The blood type A, it has antibodies which attack the other one, B. So here the person with the blood type A, they have anti B antibodies. So any person with blood type B cannot give a person with blood type A because they have weapon against B this type. Blood type B, they have weapons for A. They have anti A antibodies. Okay. So again, person with blood type B cannot take um, blood from a person with type A because he, the, this person has weapons against anti-A. Now for the blood type AB, they have no antibodies, no antibodies. That's why everyone can give a person with the blood type AB, okay? The AB can take from any person. For O, they have both antibodies. They have both anti a and anti b antibodies okay so that's why poor b no one can give the a person with a blood type o only o because of this except ribs or uh, the clavicle skull sternum what's your answer b yes correct b so um, all, the ribs is for the uh, axial skull and sternum. All of the following are components of the appendicular skeleton except D. Yes, correct. D, the vertebral column, is uh, not appendicular. The structure of bone is compromised of all of the following except it's D. Yes. D, the white marrow, there is nothing we call it white marrow. It is red and yellow marrow, no white marrow. Jack has osteoporosis. He's deficient in which of the following? Calcium, sodium, chlorine, or folate? Yes, calcium, absolutely calcium. Calcium is good for your bone. The cell responsible for breakdown, which one is to, for breakdown? Do you remember the name? Oops, uh, C, correct, osteoclast. Clast breakdown B, uh, osteoplast building. Which, uh, what is the type of joint represented by the shoulder? Shoulder is, yes. Shoulder, it's ball and socket. Seven, which of the following joint? It's a hinge joint. Which one? Yes, B. Everyone who answered B, it's correct. Elbow, it's a hinge, back and forth. Eight, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets are produced in? In A, yes, correct. It's in the red bone marrow. They are produced in the red bone marrow. Nine, uh, Z's blood test showed the presence of increased amount of calcium. Where is excess calcium stored in your body? Who takes the calcium? Yes, your bone, absolutely your bone. Ten. In order to visualize actin and myosin filaments, you should obtain a muscle sample from which of the following? From your heart, uterus, arm, or bladder? Yes, correct. C. Why? This is the skeletal. Let me write it. This is the skeletal muscle where it, it consists of the actin and myosin. Here it's the cardiac muscle. Here is smooth muscle, bladder, smooth muscle. Next. 11. Which of the following correctly describes tendons? Remember, tendons connect what with what? It is D, correct. It connects the muscle to the bone. Yes. 
uh, 12. In humans, the stomach is made up of what type of muscles? There are three types of muscle for the stomach, which is involuntary, and you do not control it. Yes, it is A. Smooth muscle. Remember, smooth muscle in your stomach, intestine, blood vessels, skeletal muscle you control, cardiac is your heart. Next, 13. Which of the following statement regarding the myelin sheet is correct? What's the function for the myelin sheet? Yes, it is C. The myelin sheet that covered the axon, it is to increase the speed of nerve impulse. 14. The myelin sheet covers which part of the neuron? It covers? Yes, it covers the axon. Correct. It covers the axon. Some axons, they are not covered, as I mentioned. 15. Memory loss may result from injury to which part of the brain? It is A. Yes, the cerebrum. Cerebrum, the largest part of the brain. Cerebellum is for balancing. Medulla oblongata, control your heart rate, your breathing. And pons connect the cerebrum and cerebellum. 16. Which part of the brain is responsible for balancing? Balancing? Yes, it is D. Balancing, it's the cerebellum's function. Next. Uh, we are now in 70. What is the largest part of the brain? I just answered this question. Yes, your cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. 18. Stacy was involved in a car accident. She developed respiratory failure and died. Injury to which of the following resulted in respiratory failure? Which part of your brain is responsible for this? Correct. D. The medulla oblongata. It controls your breathing and heart rate. Next. Which part of the brain regulates body temperature? Which of your, which part of the brain? Uh, yes, C, hypothalamus. Hypothalamus regulate our body temperature to stay 37, okay? To keep it 37. 20, a, new, a neuronal pathway that is made up of 